When I was a boy, I never dreamed I would get to review prototypes of thousand dollar pieces of art. That's right. This is the second prototype of three arriving within a week. And today we are looking at the king pin of Hell's Kitchen. You know, even if I was some kind of mogul or kingpin, I don't think I could pull that off. As the Extreme channel is pushing towards 50,000 subscribers, these are just a few of the statues we are giving away on the journey there. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Hey guys, welcome to the Extreme channel. I am more excited than usual. Once again, we have another custom prototype in the house. Recently, I did this Superboy right here. And go back and check that out because it's amazing. It's so amazing, actually, I ended up buying a production piece of it. This piece, I already have on order. I don't get to keep this one, unfortunately, although it's kind of tempting. And I actually want to buy two of these. So I'll tell you why a little bit later in the detailed review we're going to do today. But very in love with Wilson Fisk, Kingpin. If you're unfamiliar who this is, this is a quintessential Marvel villain. He goes up against Punisher, Daredevil, Spider-Man, and many more within the Marvel realm. Growing up, I never respected Wilson Fisk like I do now. Biggest reason is that fat bastard is overweight. How hard is that? Then I became an adult and I found out that, you know what? If you diet for two weeks straight with like 1,200 calorie a day diet, you work out every day, you'll lose two pounds. Then if you smell a donut, you'll gain five. So now I can totally relate to him. And honestly, Wilson Fisk is a pretty big badass. Growing up, I never really got into him in the comics, and I always thought he was just kind of this master strategist, but he's also a pretty badass, and he'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you in physical combat as well. And as you can see, he's huge. So this is a 1-4 scale, and make sure to stay tuned, because later in this video, we're going to show what he looks like next to some other characters, like Sideshow, Daredevil, and Punisher Premium Formats. There's already pictures of him and those pictures on the Extreme Channel Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. You can go ahead and check those out. But today we're going to do a detailed review of this particular piece. Keep in mind, it's a prototype, so there's a few things that have not yet been fixed. But nonetheless, I would be happy to keep this guy as is because I think he's phenomenal. And I do have here in my basement a display going of Punisher, Ghost Rider, Daredevil, Elektra. So I think he'll look fantastic there. But I also want to get the second version of him because this comes in a few different ways that we're going to talk about to go to my office to put with all my Spider-Man villains. So we'll see if we can pull one off because like I said, I already have one on order. All right, first thing we're gonna look at is concept with this piece. Now, there are some major, major switch outs. While they don't entirely change the concept, they do a little bit, but we'll get to those in the design portion of the review. First, we're gonna take a look at this. I love this concept. So first of all, you have Wilson Fisk in his mansion or in his house. It's obviously his house because it is this beautifully decorated staircase. You have these giant F's on the pillars. You have some gargoyles behind there. And this marble floor, marble stairs looks amazing. And what's even crazier is there was just a huge battle. Almost reminds me of a throne statue. So you see a lot going on. You see some proximity pieces like Daredevil's Billy Clubs. Some shell casings. So assumably maybe Punisher was there. In the back you actually have Spider-Man... You have some Spider-Man webs, some blood. As you move up, you see the kingpin there standing triumphantly. And you know what? Nothing even happened to him. So he maybe he just laid a trap for his enemies. He doesn't look like he was involved in the physical combat. Right here, the switch outs have him with his classic cane. He's standing there very proper. His clothes look very expensive. As you move up on one of the pillars, you actually see a bullet hole. He's wearing his classic white coat. And... He is just very menacing. A few different portraits to look at. I'll show a concept of power, of evil, and I really, really love it. I think it encompasses Kingpin. When you think of Kingpin, you think of money, you think of power, you think of presence. I think this accomplishes it all, and I love the Easter eggs that are all over, and we're going to look closer to those in design. So honestly, I think the concept's a five out of five. Very impressed. Absolutely love it. As we dive into design, some of you know I have a little bit of bias into this project. So as we dive into design, I'm going to continue to try and be as unbiased as possible, but uh, there are some really, really awesome things. But first, let's look at the unboxing and assembly, and here you're going to see some of the switch outs. 
I'm not showing all the unboxing because it may be different in the final product, but as you can see, there are a ton of different pieces to this. It was actually two different boxes, which kind of not really surprised me with the different switch out options. So before we look at the switch outs, let me show you those Easter eggs on the big base right here, the staircase base. A little bit of blood in the back, kind of neat, I like that. And then these proximity pieces, these shells and casings, these can be laid anywhere you want. Spider-Man's web back here is permanently attached. And then Daredevil's billy clubs, you can place wherever you want. You could even hang them if you wanted to. Fisk has two portraits. First, probably my favorite, Smiling Evil Sinister Sneer. Lots of S's. Then the other one, the fat boy just looks pissed as hell, and I think they both work great. His right arm has four options. The first is him holding his classic cane to the ground. And I think this might be my favorite, although I like them all. The other one, he can be holding his cane kind of behind him. And I think this is probably my least favorite. Another one is him holding a rose, and if you're unfamiliar, this is what Kingpin does when he kills people. He leaves them a rose. Then the last one, him smoking a cigar, holding it up near his mouth. And I love this. We'll talk a little bit more about it in Paint and Sculpt. Now, for some people, that's too much going on on the base. So there is another optional base that also looks fabulous. Now, size-wise, it's very similar, but this is what he looks like on this base right here. I think it's awesome. This is why I want two of them. I have two different buildings I want to display kingpins in, and I think there's enough switch outs, including the bases, to make it look great. Now, while this base is considered the smaller base, it's not really that much smaller as far as how wide it is and how deep it is. But let's measure those first. So on the quote unquote smaller base, you're a little over 11 inches on how deep, 14 and a half on the widest part, where the big base is, I guess it is quite a bit wider, it's 20 inches wide, and the deepest part is only about 12 inches. And then the tallest part, let's measure a kingpin first. Kingpin's 19 and a half inches. This bait base is about one and three quarters. This base is almost four inches. So he'll be quite a bit taller on this base. Now, if you wanna know how tall he is on this base, go ahead and rewind, pull out a calculator, and you can figure it out. Now, since this is one fourth scale, how does he scale with other pieces? So right here, here's a picture with him and Sideshow Punisher. I haven't seen this yet, so you're seeing it from the future. And let's add Daredevil to the mix as well. Now, while I haven't seen those yet, I can already tell he is a much bigger figure, which in real life he is. He's huge in real life. Well, technically he's not real. Or is he? Maybe we're the comic books. Maybe they're like watching and reading us. But so I'm guessing that he scaled pretty good with those other pieces. So I love the design options. Not only the switch outs, but the separate bases, because I love both bases. There were a few issues connecting some of this stuff up here that I sent back to the commissioner so they can let the factory know, which they'll fix in the production pieces. So I'm trying to find a reason not to give the design a five out of five. I'm not gonna go ahead and grade the design because this is a prototype, but uh, if I did, I probably would give it a five out of a five. See how I did that? I still graded it anyway without actually saying I would grade it. I'm like a kingpin. Let's dive into the paint and sculpt. So this is 
professionally painted by a master painter where the factory's gonna match the paint. I can already tell you the paint job's amazing. But uh, let's look at the paint and sculpt of both bases and some of the switches. Now, since I love both bases so much, we'll review both of them and not repeat the parts of Kingpin himself. But let's start with the smaller base. Like I said, I, I love both of these. So this one to me is a little bit more elegant. It's elegant because of the ornate design you have on the sides, some pillars there, this leaf. I think it just looks fantastic. And what's equally impressive as this design and the sculpt, you know, kind of the tearing there, is the marble uh, paint. This looks like a true marble countertop. Looks beautiful, I love the the way the blue or the gray and the white just blend together. The master Painter did an unbelievable job. And the symbol at the front, I love the gold. It's not too gaudy, it's not, not bright enough. Again, some intricate design in there. It looks like real gold. Very fancy F with the king at the top. That is just genius. So I love the base. Then here we'll get a better picture of Kingpin on here. So right here, first let's start with the shoe, shoes. These remind me of uh, uh, some sketchers I actually have, but you can even see the, the subtle stitching in there. I like how glossy they are. Awesome job. On the pants, there's some uh, uh, small texture and again, some small seam lines on the side. I like how it's very uh, proper. You know, you can tell that he has them pressed every day. I love the, the dark color purple they chose. Really brings me back to the comics. And moving up to his suit coat, uh, the texture's a little bit different and there's a lot of uh, black shading into the white, which I think looks great. Love how it follows the proper anatomy with his hand in his pocket, how uh, playing you know some pocket pool there, how the coat tails kind of shift to the side and you can see the wrinkles right there, the creases. Same thing with his arm coming down. The big pockets in the front. Then you have the handkerchief coming out of the side with the rose. Here's the cigar with the smoke. I like how it's billowing up like that. You would really see Kingpin with a ton of smoke. And subtle details like gold bracelet on his wrist, and I believe all of them have this. Now you can only see part of it because the other part goes under the cuff. The buttons on the side here. I love his vest, I love the color of it with the, uh, this kind of off yellow with the black buttons and then his tie. Different color blue than his shirt. Now this is my least, least favorite portrait, although like I said, I like it a lot. He's kind of pissed. You can see the uh, seriousness in his face. Great detail, even those tiny eyes. Fantastic paint job. Love the skin tones. Again, you can almost see like uh, some follicles in his uh, cleanly shaved head. So now let's take a look at the other base and some of the other switch outs. But this one alone is very impressive. So what we'll do on this one is we'll look at the differences and the other base. But first, this portrait, love it. I love the smile, the sinister smile. They did a great paint job, super clean around the teeth, the lips. I wish the, uh, this is probably the only thing on the statue I'm not digging. A little bit more detail in the eyebrows would have been good, but I can live with what they have. So on this base, again, fantastic job with the colors. Very similar to a lot of the comments I said on the other base. I love the uh, kingpin and crown, the uh, F coming out. Again, not as much ornate design, but I love these giant pillars. There's the bullet hole, looks fantastic. Even with uh, the black scarring around it. Now the banisters back here are clearly made of wood. This like mahogany type wood, look, which looks great are the spindles on the stairs. And then you transition to this statue of a gargoyle. And the gargoyle right here is great. I love the bronze look that it has on the edges. So, so much cool detail going into this. There's Bullseye's uh, card in there. So we don't know if Bullseye was defending the Kingpin or if he uh, was fighting the Kingpin. 
which could be either. Really quick, the back of the base here, you still see all that fantastic marbling effect. The blood splatter looks great. Here's the Spidey web. It's very hard to do Spider-Man web and I, I am quite satisfied with this. And we'll go back and look at Daredevil's Billy Club. So this rope is sculpted. But they look great. And then the uh, shell casings look real, man. They look like, uh, unless you're a woman watching, they look like real uh, uh, worn used shell casings, miniature versions. So here is uh, one of the switch outs. Here's his classic cane. Now you can see only part of the diamond in there, but his hand looks great again. The ring, you see the bracelet like we talked about last time. I love the skin colors. Here's a, a close up of the one that he holds kind of behind him. So a hand very similar, but look at like uh, the diamond on the top. And I like how it's a little bit worn because you know he uses it all the time. And then here is the rose. I did give the factory or the uh, commissioners a little feedback that uh, maybe a little lighter on the paint on the top. Sorry, hard to get this to focus but otherwise looks great. And I almost think you want it that red because it, it shows a lot more when it's uh, here on him. So like I said, I love both bases. I want both. Really impressed overall with this piece. So paint, five out of five. You know, it's rare that you'll find a master painter who paints it and that's, that's what they do. They paint prototypes or they repaint pieces or they paint kits and they don't do a five out of five, especially the base. I love the base and I know S7 Customs that painted this, he went back and forth on the base, but he, it ended up fantastic. So big, big props to him. And not to take away from the rest, it looks amazing as well. Sculpt, I absolutely love it. Uh, not only the base, but I love uh, Fisk. It's like he came alive from the comics with a little bit of a modern twist on him. I think it's a five out of five on the sculpt as well. Really, really impressed. Now we're gonna look at the value of this piece. So they made 40 of these, and you could order it with both bases or just choose a base. And it ranged anywhere from 875 to $1,000 plus shipping and fees. That's a little bit of a chunk to swallow for a one fourth uh, scale piece, but look how much you're getting. I think you're getting quite a bit. I think the value is pretty good, especially with Kingpin. You know, the only one fourth scale Kingpin I know of is XM Studios. I think that one is done decent, but more people have it due to lack of options because he is such a quintessential villain with so many different Marvel heroes. So does this piece have the X factor? You're damn straight it does. I'm really impressed. I love every part of it. I love Wilson. I love the bases. I love the concept. The paint and sculpt are out of this world. I think this is a five out of five statue. It makes me like uh, Kingpin even more. I am actually watching the Daredevil series right now. I'm almost done with season two. But uh, very impressed with this guy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, also hit that like button, smash that picture of me if you wanna see future stuff like this because I have a third prototype arriving in a few days. Uh, really appreciate you guys watching. Talk to you soon. Take care.